All right, so in today's tutorial, we're going to model these uh, stairs uh, here that you see on the image. I'll be showing you how we can actually uh, use the 2D lines and how we can transform them into uh, these uh, these stairs. As you can see, we have uh, walls here on the back side, and we'll be creating some some dam damage geometry just to have this as a reference, and then we'll be creating all of these steps as you can see here. So let's get started. I'm going to actually import this image here just to have it for my reference and then let's start. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to approximate the, the length of these to be, let's say 1.2 meters. So I'm going to say 1.2 and then uh, here the, the top ones will also be 1.2. And then the middle will be, let's say, 0.2 meters. So now we have uh, actually the, the length of these. And then let's create some reference lines here. We can also scale this, this guy down. Like so. To have a better look. And we, uh, we have this uh, this first wall. So let's uh, see, let's count how many stairs there is. So it seems as there is 10 steps here. So I will count 10 types here. This is 0 0.3. And let's do copy. Let's copy this nine times. All right. And we can do basically the same thing on the top. Here we'll create uh, a reference geometry so we can mirror these guys here like so and uh, here you can see that uh, I think this step is actually becoming this one like this and this one is I think a little bit uh, wider so we'll include that once we start drawing so so now you can see that uh, these uh, it actually stops here which means that these three steps uh, will be till there uh, so one two three one two three and then the fourth one becomes this first one here on top so uh, having said that we, we know that uh, the the actual wall finishes here uh, where, where the fourth one starts so it will be somewhere around here like so and let's let's trim this line And we'll have on the opposite side also uh, some kind of wall, like so. Uh, and now let's see what we can do with these guys. So first thing we can do, we can actually increase uh, their heights so that we know basically uh, how these are going to be allocated in space. So I will do this uh, now. I'll increase actually all of them uh, by let's say 0 0.17 and now I'll do all of this for all the other ones. So now once we have uh, the orientation done uh, what else we can do? We can actually start uh, to see how these are going to behave. So we know that uh, this first one will connect with this guy here. So uh, we can actually go into the side mo side view and let's create uh, the, their connection like so. However, you can see that uh, this connection is going to be a little bit filleted. We're going to have some fillets. But uh, before doing them, we can actually connect all of these first. Like so. And uh, that, that should be fine. Now we're going to actually join all these guys. And uh, for now, let's, uh, let's create, uh, let's create, let's start creating uh, from the bottom. So I'll be using this as a profile. Let's go to the front. And this will be my first 
first there. Uh, so I'm going to create something like this. And I'll be moving it minus 0 0.05. Something like this, and let's do fill it like so. And this should be fine for all the for for the other ones as well. And we're going to simply uh, give it some thickness. Let's go until there. Now you can see that it's starting to get shape, and we can do the same thing here now on the top one. You can copy this one and this one. So this will be these, these first three. As you can see here, on this side they are the same, but on this side they are not the same, so we can actually do that here. Uh, so let's first extend them. Let's use solid points on. And we can do set point and bring it to Z here. Like so. In this case, these guys need to go on the same side here, like this. So we have three of those there. One, two, three, there's fourth one as well. Like so, and this one also needs the relocation like this. All right, so this fourth one uh, will actually need to modify it here with this guy but we'll be using actually these uh, the, the, uh, for example this line to get this radius uh, so let's uh, put all of these guys here on the bottom these three and let's do set points Z let's hide this guy for now uh, and let's let's do solid points on and for example here we can move it we can take all these control points and we can move it inside 0 0.05 for example and also we can do the same thing to this guy here minus 0 0.05 like so and then we hide these unhide these two and now we have this uh, this element here uh, now we can give it some thickness of course so let's let's go with offset surface let's flip the directions and let's go a distance of 0 0.05 I think that should be enough yeah that's fine and let's do the same thing to these three and this one now here uh, the last thing that we can do here is to actually create those fillets and before doing uh, before doing the uh, the rest of them, let's see if we can maybe slightly modify this inclination, maybe change change it a little bit because it seems that it's maybe too too steep. So let's do F10 for all of them, <coughs> control points, and let's bring them somewhere around here, and maybe these guys just a little bit in, so that we get that transition. And that should be fine. Let's do the, uh, the fillet of radius, let's say 0 0.25. And that should be fine. And let's do now the fillet thing for all of them. And that should be, uh, that should be, uh, that should be done for all of them. And once that is done, uh, we can simply, uh, actually let's create this wall here. And let's extrude it here and let's also create this wall here and extrude it here so that we have our reference for the space and here I will create one additional fillet here 0 0.1 like so and now let's do the extrusion so I'm going to basically extrude all of these of 0. Uh, 0 0.3 there it is and now let's do the offset offset surface flip direction 
and that should be fine that should do the trick so that should be that should be our stairs here um you, the, this last one of course uh there is probably one more that is maybe something like this uh or maybe is actually uh just a, <laughs> a simple plane so i'm gonna cut this like this let's do boolean split boolean split like this and let's do scale 1d and let's bring this guy here and that should be it all right so that would be that would be our stairs here stylish stairs uh, for this tutorial uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments or if you'd like to see uh, some other kind of uh, tutorials here on the channel maybe some different kind of interior uh, interior details or construction details i'll be happy to to listen to your suggestions uh, don't forget to subscribe there's a bell button here uh, on the on the bottom if you're the first time here uh, don't forget to hit that because uh, you won't miss any videos that I upload or any future tutorials so thanks for your attention and until the next time take care and see you soon